Today I'm going to be showing you what's in my school bag and this year for the very first time I'm going to be going to college and I'm going to be studying at that college for two years and probably during those two years I'm going to be using the same bag which is this bag. It's really quite small and it's really cute and I'm pretty sure I got it from Topshop um, like a bit over a year ago and the reason why I bought it so long ago is because I'm like the fussiest person ever when it comes to like bags and just buying stuff in general to be honest. Um, so when I saw this bag in Topshop, I absolutely fell in love with it. So I knew I had to buy it. However, I don't know if it's leather or fake leather. So if I was going to go out and buy like a school bag now, I would either thrift it so I'd get it second hand or I would buy it from an ethical company and make sure it's fake leather because I'm not really sure if it's fake leather or real leather because I didn't check at the time because I wasn't vegan at the time so yeah I'm not too sure I wouldn't really recommend going out to Topshop and buying a school bag I would recommend thrifting it or getting it from an ethical company anyway I've got the school bag now and I've been saving it for ages because I knew I was going to either start sixth form or college and I knew I was going to need a small little cute bag so yeah I got this one. So just starting off at the front of this bag, there's this front pocket right here. Um, I don't actually have anything in this pocket right now. I'm not even sure if I'm going to put anything in it because it's kind of at the front and I'm going to college in London so I don't really want to get marked. Um, but I've got this water bottle that I'm going to be putting in my bag. I'm not sure. It doesn't really fit at the front pocket. Um, so I might just put it in like in a Ziploc bag and put it inside my bag in like the main pocket. I'm not too sure yet, but I brought this water bottle to London. I thrifted this by the way. So it's second hand and it's in such amazing condition. And yeah, I brought this to London the other day. Um, and honestly, it lasted me the whole day and I still had water left in here. Um, it doesn't look like the biggest water bottle, but it fits so, so much. And yeah, it lasts me the whole day and it also keeps my water really really cool so I would definitely like recommend buying a thermostat I think that's what this is called correct me if I'm wrong in the comments but yeah I would definitely recommend getting a reusable bottle and one of these especially like because I used to have those plastic reusable water bottles but they weren't too great and they always leaked and this is really great and also it has this like clip at the top so what I did is when I went to London, I like clipped onto the zip just in case it like fell. It wouldn't actually like fall to the ground. It would just kind of attach itself to my bag still, if that makes any sense. So I would highly recommend getting one of these for school. And yeah, I can't wait to use it for school. So moving on to the next front pocket, which is just this one up here. Um, I don't actually have anything stored in this pocket either. I really don't think I'm going to store anything in either of these pockets. Just there's no point and also I don't have that much stuff in my bag so yeah these will probably just be empty anyway moving on to I'm pretty sure that this is the last pocket which is the main pocket I actually don't have any side pockets like on the side um for my water bottle which I've always had side pockets for my water bottle every bag that I've had in the past um which is such a shame because I love having my water bottle on the side of my bag anyway um yeah moving on to the main pocket I really don't have much stuff in my bag as I said before because I'm going to college and I'm just studying a diploma and also an English literature A level so yeah I don't really need that much stuff so anyway um the first thing in my bag is this massive folder I'm not even sure if I'm going to need it or not because they haven't actually told us what we need when it comes to stationery and folders I don't even know if I'm going to be given a book or not so I'm just going to bring this to my induction day my induction day is on the 7th of September and my first day is on the 11th of September let me know in the comments when you guys are starting or if you have already started because I'm really intrigued because I know a lot of people started really really early like I've had the longest summer I've ever had in my life this year because I finished super early like I finished at the beginning of June um, actually no it was the end of June it was the 25th of June which was my last GCSE exam and after that I've been on summer and then obviously I've have like a week extra compared to like most people like most schools around me if that makes any sense anyway um yeah i've got this just white folder and inside it's got these clear wallet things i'm not sure if they're even called wallets but anyway they're i just like really like them because i much prefer the wallets built into the folder instead of having to like try to buy 
little wallet things and then putting them in you know what I mean and then hole punching them and stuff like that and then on the side of this there's also like a little pocket to put like scrap bits of paper and stuff which I think I'll find really really helpful once I start college because I know I always get given like a ton of little bits of paper and I always end up losing them anyway so this is going to be really helpful when it comes to organization I'm not really sure what I'm going to actually use it for like English literature or my diploma not really sure now but I have it anyway if I need it. The next thing in my bag is this notebook and I was actually gifted this notebook from a viewer of mine from a few years ago on my old channel. I'm not even sure if she still watches my videos but if you do thank you very much for sending these things to me. So she sent me like flip flops, like a little letter, this notebook and like a bunch of other really cute stuff like uh, bath jelly. It was really really cute and I never got a chance to use this at my old school during my GCSEs because I didn't really need that many sections but I used to use like a very similar one but it only used to have three um, parts so as you can see this has five I think it is one two three four five yeah it has five parts um, and I'm going to be using this for English literature and this is where I'm going to be making all my notes for my A level. The last thing that's in the main pocket of my bag, I told you I really don't have that much stuff in my bag. I've got a few bits and bobs in like little pockets but I'll show you them in a minute. Um, is this pencil case and it's just this blue fake leather. Um, it has like a holographic zip which I find really really cool. So I got this pencil case from Ryman's, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm going to put it on the screen anyway if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, so yeah I bought this from here and I've always had really really big pencil cases like always when I went to school but because I'm only doing a few subjects and I really don't need that much stationery I just decided to get a smaller pencil case and I find this so so cute and it's kind of the same design as my uh, bag it's kind of like leathery but obviously it's fake leather and inside I have some highlighters these are just some that my old school gave me during my GCSEs um, some pens like different colours I've got green, red, black and blue because I honestly don't know which colours I'm allowed or if I'm allowed all of them, have no idea um, I've got also a rubber, a pencil and a sharpener and that's I think all I need I'm not really sure um, if that's all I need but hopefully it is because I've got it all already here the first thing that I have in one of the pockets is a travel size hand cream and this one is from Bayless and Harding England um, it's in the scent sweet mandarin and grapefruit I got it for my birthday this year and I love using it for school and when I go on holiday and stuff like that it's just great to have a travel size hand cream because like the giant size things are just so hard to put anywhere they're just way too big and the second thing that I have in this pocket is my perfume so recently I bought this perfume from Nex it is the scent pink macaroon yeah, um, it's the Eau de Toilette. I'm not French, so I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, it's just this one, and it smells amazing. So what I do when for school and stuff like that, I get this little uh, perfume, like travel size perfume thing, and then I just spray it into here, so I can easily fit it into my bag or my pocket or wherever I need to put it. And yeah, it just smells amazing, and I love having a travel sized one of these because. Yeah, I like to smell really good during the day. The last thing that I have in my bag is just a load of post-it notes, which is in this pocket here. Um, and yeah, not much to say about that. They're just post-it notes. And I love using post-it notes for everything, to-do lists, uh, reminders, all sorts. I always use post-it notes. Even for revision, I use post-it notes. So I always have to have them handy, especially in my school bag. And yeah, I think that's it. So that's all that's in my school bag. I really hope to enjoy taking a little peek of the stuff that I'm going to be bringing to college. Um, and now I just wanted to give you a little update of what is happening to my channel right now. So I've been making YouTube videos for the last three years. Man, that's a long time. Um, so I really, really enjoy doing YouTube videos and doing YouTube in general. However, YouTube is not my dream career. Broadcasting is my dream career. I really, really want to become a presenter and that is what I am studying in college. I'm studying broadcasting. So that is my dream job. So my number one priority is college because that is my dream 
to do broadcasting so i'm only going to be making youtube videos when i want to and when i can and they're mostly going to be like vegan recipes fashion lookbooks all of that stuff and the quality of my youtube videos is going to increase dramatically well that's what i'm hoping for anyway because i'm going to be studying how to make good videos so i can just imagine my videos are gonna get better because i'm learning how to actually make them better um, instead of like teaching myself so they're gonna get better however there's gonna be much much fewer videos um, I'm not gonna be doing one a week or twice a week I'm just gonna be doing them as I said before when I want to and when I can and also I'm gonna be moving to London for my college so I'm not gonna be staying at home with all of my filming equipment with all of my computers and stuff like that so I'm not gonna have a chance to film and edit videos during the week time like I did before because sometimes I would film and edit them during the school days, not during the school days, like after the school day. I really hope you enjoy my future videos because I know I definitely will enjoy them much more when it comes to like making them and editing them and stuff like that because I'm not gonna be stressed out on trying to get a video out every week like I have been for the last three years because I've always like put so much pressure on myself to get like a video out at least once a week. So now that the pressure's off, I'm the one who put the pressure on myself. I've taken that off now. Um, yeah, it should be so much more fun making videos because I don't have to make so many. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I also apologize if the lighting was horrible during this whole video because I still use natural lighting. Through these last three years, I've been using natural lighting and during the winter, it's absolutely awful because the clouds are like, everywhere and the sun is just going behind the clouds every two seconds and today is really really cloudy so it's dark so i have no idea what this video is going to look like also i tried out a new foundation and it's probably like really patchy because it's new and i'm not used to applying it the company's called gosh and it's the bb cream and i think it's way too light for me so i added it to my old foundation um so yeah i just mixed them together so i don't know how it looks let me know in the comments um I don't know if I like it or not, I'm just gonna have to see when I edit this video I suppose. Um, I'm also gonna check out how long it lasts because I'm gonna be wearing this all day so yeah. That's all I've got to say for this video. I really hope you all have a great start to your new year at school or work or whatever you do. So yeah, see you next time, bye!